What it do, Libras? Welcome back and welcome in. Sun, moon, rising, north node, wherever Libra may be sprinkled in your chart, you are welcome right here. Grand risings and good PM to you, Libras. Wherever you are out there, you are here with me and I thank you. I appreciate you. Let's tap into these energies, Libra, because my, oh my. <laughs> so in... Not in the pre-shuffle, but in the energies coming into this reading, Libra. Someone from your past. Now, this could be a person that you were romantically involved with. This could be a friend. For one of you, it's a co-worker. This could also be someone who wanted to be romantically involved with you. But, Libra, someone is tired of just having sex. Someone wants to make love. This person said fucking is immature. Just fucking is immature. Now, this person seems to be involved with someone else at this time. There was an argument, whether this is a male or a female, there was an argument that ensued. And in this argument, <laughs> this person... This person connected to you told their person or whoever they're involved with that they hate them. <laughs> they told this person, I don't know why you don't believe me. This is the last time you're going to believe me now. So there's been a breakup. <laughs> This person is at their wit's end. They've had enough. They've had it up to here, Libra. And someone sees you, definitely. Whether you are male or female. You sir, you ma'am, you lady, you man. Hi, vibe tribe, I'm talking to you. Someone sees you as someone with discernment. Who utilizes their intuition. This person knows that you are of a higher status, a higher quality, <laughs> divinity. This person is sick of the shit. So we're going to tap into these energies, Libra, and find out what's going on maybe in your world. Now, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moment. So please do only take the messages that vibrate with you. It's not what is true for you, Libra, then most likely it's not what it do. For you new viewers, if you don't know what to do, please do just leave it on the counter. Please also like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit that notification bell so you are aware of when your girl is uploading the next video for you. If you 
you are already subscribed, please do check that bell. Make sure it's still blue so that you know when these next videos are coming at you. So Libras, let's, let's take a breath because, oh my gosh, for <laughs> this argument, I feel just the emotion from the argument that this person had with their person their person that they don't want to be their person because this person very much believes that you are the one Libra and they want to share the crown with you so angels let's pop in for my Libras <laughs> so we have the <clears throat> eight of bones or the eight of wands <laughs> in reverse so no communication, you're in no communication with this person. This person wants to come out of no communication. Oh, they're itching and scratching every single bone in their body. All their 2,000 body parts. Someone may use lever soap. And uh, <laughs> the energies before the reading, someone here had cinnamon raisin bread. I smelled it. So we have the hermit. Yeah, Libra, because you are that lantern. And look what's there in the picture. That is a lantern. They want the light, Libra. This person. We have Virgo energy here with this hermit. We have uh, a Leo energy. I'm sorry, Sagittarius energy there with the Eight of Wands. So this person has shaken off the confusion. So we have the four of pentacles, the Capricorn energy. <laughs> so this person, this Sagittarius, this Virgo may have been in this connection with a Capricorn. This person was holding on too tight. So what I heard from the other person's side of the story is they feel hurt by your person or the person connected to you and they no longer want to be in the connection with your person or the person you're connected to um if you libra are going to be in the picture this person their person knows that they have a thing for you and this person has fully turned their attention towards wanting to come out of this no communication however much this capricorn energy may be trying to hold on to this sagittarius this virgo <laughs> they say they want to let go they say they don't want to hold on because you libra are in the picture or the, their person is so much wanting to just go off and be with you but this person really doesn't want to let go their person we have temperance <laughs> Libra, you just over here sipping your tea. <laughs> Libra, <laughs> I'm only laughing because you're just, you're so unaware of what's going on with this situation. You're protecting your peace. You see the uniform you have on, you're protecting the law. <laughs> you're serving up the law. You see yourself? Pouring a cup that may be for you, that may be for other people. It's the season. In Libra, you are the reason. Someone here could be a deputy or work in the sheriff's department. Someone may be a 911 dispatcher. <laughs> Libra, you always got this. This smirk on your face and that's why I'm laughing right now because you're just you're just unaware you're over here sipping your tea probably chilling with Kermit enjoying some Lipton so we have the four of swords in reverse Libra that's your energy right on the other side of that temperance and what is this we have the lovers Gemini energy in reverse and then we have the six of wands in reverse boy oh boy this Leo energy there's a lot going on here let's break this down so this Sagittarius this Virgo has been studying you Libra 
this person felt like they were running out of time. They had to turn their back to this situation, possibly with this Capricorn that was holding on too tight for them. Holding on too tight for them and to them. This person just wanted to get away. So this person has been doing some investigating on how to get closer to you. If this is a masculine, they may have a beard. Someone's name is Gary. Hmm. Yet this person has been praying to come out of this fiery situation with this Capricorn. They've totally turned their back to this. This person has dispersed the smoke in the mirrors. So they've broken down the illusion. This person is no longer beguiled by this Capricorn, this Sagittarius, or this Hermit. We have your energy here, <laughs> Libra, I feel, with this Temperance card and the Four of Swords. Hmm. So you're not worried necessarily about being defensive to anything or anyone right now. Because you're busy sipping your tea, you're busy doing you, you're busy protecting your peace. So this is why you are not aware of this situation that is transpiring. <laughs> This Capricorn who says that they don't want to be possibly with this Virgo or this Sagittarius if you're in the picture. This Capricorn is trying to look forward. They're trying to look ahead, but they're holding on to this Virgo and this Sagittarius. Libra, you're over here just minding your business. I mean, I just can't say it enough. That smirk on your face. <laughs> Someone's first initials could be B or E. I heard Edward. Mm. So, <laughs> the lovers, yeah, and we have this Gemini energy here. So, yeah, this person is breaking up with this Capricorn, this Sagittarius, this Virgo. Their partner could have blonde hair. Yeah, they're, they're no longer bewitched. They've broken the spell. This person may have put a spell on this Virgo or this Sagittarius. Hmm. So they receive some downloads about this connection by watching you. So it's something you said, Libra, <laughs> that kind of Put the last knife in the back of this Sagittarius, this Virgo, that got them to turn around from this situation. This person sees you as an angel. They see you as the light, the lantern. They really want you in their life, Libra. Whoever this person is. So there was a build up and there was a climax. And I feel like it was this argument that ensued between these two. I hear a climax by Usher. <laughs> I'm shuffling so much. This person is really trying to get it together. Because there's... There's been a buildup, a crescendo. And you see what else is going on? And so we have blame. <laughs> it says, I accept responsibility for my well being. So this person accepts responsibility for the fact that they are no longer in communication with you. This person, again, is trying to see the light. India may be significant. Someone could have henna on their hands. So this person has accepted peace. They're speaking their truths. And this is why this person is wanting to come out of this 
no communication with you, Libra, because they're finally able to speak their own truth because they had to go inside to find the light within to dismiss, to disperse this smoke and mirror, this situation going on possibly with this Capricorn. This person had to accept responsibility for the situation, the relationship, the connection that they placed themselves within. So many cards on the floor tonight. This is a lot of work that this person is going to have to do in order to come back to you and to move away from this controlling energy. Could be Capricorn, doesn't have to be. We have judgment. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So yeah, this person faced judgment. They went... <laughs> through a very, it's like they went through the grinder with this person. They're showing me a blender. Like if you were staring down into a blender, you know how you see the prongs. So this person felt cut up, chopped up, blended up, chopped and screwed by this Capricorn energy. This person that was holding on too tight. Self-esteem, it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. <laughs> so this Capricorn energy has low self-esteem. And so how they get people, how they deal with the fact that they have a low self-esteem is they control and manipulate and hold on to others. This person likes to possess people. It's like this person gets in situations and connections only so that they can control their other person's behavior, their motives. It's like they want to possess their souls. This is this energy I'm getting from this lovers in reverse, this Gemini energy here. So this person likes to control people <laughs> in order to benefit themselves. They're all about, well, what can you do for me? What have you done for me lately? This is this person. And <laughs> this Sagittarius, this Virgo said, the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm out. I hate you. And that's a very strong word. I dislike to even utter it out of my lips. But this person, this Virgo, the Sag, stole this Capricorn energy. I hate you. And they said, this is the last time I'm going to say it. You're going to believe me now. So this person is dipsetting way, way, way far away from this Capricorn energy. I just heard mischievous. <laughs> this Capricorn could be mischievous. We have trust. <laughs> And we have doubt. It says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Libra, that's why you were just chilling in place. You were waiting to be divinely moved. You're not checking for anyone. You're just in your peace. You're just in your own space. Yeah, this edge of protection that's around you. There's a lot of angels around you. Someone here could have had sunflowers recently. <laughs> You're continuing in your ascension. Third eye chakra activations may be significant. You're trusting yourself more. You're trusting in your gifts more. And this is why you're in this relaxed state right here in the middle of the reading, Libra. Right smack dab. Bam! There you are. Just chilling right in the middle of this situation that you're unaware of because you're in your peace. Like in this bubble. Look at the bubble you're in, Libra. Look at the bubble you're in. You see this? Those could be whales, tails. Those could be birds. They could be wings. And they are the perimeter there, but what it is, Libra... Is a hedge of protection. You trust and you know fully in self. 
you have tempered yourself. This is why you do not doubt. <laughs> you not being so defensive right now. Now, that's not to say, Libra, that your defenses are down. What I'm saying is, because you're always protective of your energy. Yes, Libra, yes. What I'm saying is you're not being defensive right now. Defense! Defense! Yes, none of that. Not right now, Libra, because you're just chilling. You're sipping your tea. You're trusting in self. You're being divinely guided. You're moving when divinely moves. So you're in your peace. Even though you're in the midst, in the middle of this situation, which I feel like many of you are unaware of, <laughs> you're not doubting the space that you're in. It says, I release the need to know all the answers. So yeah, again, you're not doubting the fact that you may not have all the answers. You may be unaware of this situation. You're like, okay, well, it could be going on. It might not be. This might be a story. It might not be. Anyways, anywho, meanwhile, <laughs> the story continues. So we have abundance. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Right under this Gemini energy. So yeah, this Capricorn. Has lost their abundance by being connected to this Sagittarius, this Virgo. Their reality has shifted. This person is seeing red. I mean, angry is not going to capture the essence of the emotions that this Capricorn is feeling. Look, hold on to this big red pentacle. I mean, seeing red. Look at the look in her eye. A little bit demented, yes? Crazy and deranged and this is why this Sagittarius this Virgo is wanting to get the fuck out of Dodge and escape this no communication with you Libra yeah they don't want to play the blame game this person is accepting responsibility for their actions and this is how and why this person is wanting to correct them because if we don't recognize what we've done then how should we therefore correct what we've done some people will act like they didn't do shit <laughs> for the rest of their lives. I didn't do it. What me? Oh, okay. You gonna, gonna stick to that story? Yeah, this person is not wanting to stick to that story. This person is lacking abundance being in this connection with this Capricorn energy. They're being sucked dry. But again, this person has broken the spell that this Capricorn may have placed on this person. So this Capricorn may use a spell work in order to bewitch people to get them under their thumbs <laughs> under their control because this Capricorn energy does not have enough self-esteem to stand on their own so they'd rather stand on the self-esteem and the confidence of others I'm better than you but I don't really feel like it on the inside but let me put a spell on you so I can control you this is this one. One more, please, angels. Thank you. We have adversity at yeah, Tower Moments. Tower Moments. And this Leo energy here. <laughs> yeah, somebody is uh, needing some strength. It could be a Leo. This Capricorn may have <laughs> invited a Leo energy into the situation to somehow stop this tower moment from occurring. But it's too much too late because <laughs> now their person hates them. Look at this <laughs> lighthouse. <laughs> Looks kind of like the lighthouse back there, huh? Your light is too bright, Libra. You're like a beacon in the dark. 
So this Sagittarius, this Virgo, has, again, seen through the storm clouds. They've dismissed and dispersed the smoke and the mirrors. They've let go of trusting <laughs> in this illusion. This person is accepting responsibility for their actions, for this connection that they've involved themselves in. Because this person fell under judgment. Again, they went through the grinder. They went through a karmic cycle. This was a karmic to this Sagittarius, this Virgo energy. This person went through a dark night of the soul brought on by this catalyst that is this Capricorn energy. Yeah, they took them to a very dark, low place. Lots of arguing, lots of fights. Again, no sex. <laughs> this person cut off sex from this Capricorn energy. And this person just won't let go. Hmm. Let's see what else. So this person wants to know if you're really going to go, Leaper. Did they, did they really fuck it up? They want you to stay. <laughs> and it's funny because this Capricorn energy wants them to stay, but they're like, nah, nah, <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I just like to say it, but it's very strong energies from this Virgo, this Sagittarius, this emotion they have. person had to think about it they were totally being drained if this is a masculine this masculine may be bald headed this person was brought down to the dog on knees this is just i'm glad this person is leaving this situation that's all i can say they had to get away they couldn't stay, but they couldn't stay in this situation with this person, this Capricorn energy. It's just a lot of work. It's just a lot of heavy size. It's a lot of work. It was a lot of stress, a lot of strain, a lot of anguish, a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration, a lot of just, uh, just like, oh. Uh. It's like aggressively wanting to clear something. You ever have something like stuck in your throat, like you're choking on something, you start like pounding on your chest as if... <laughs> You know, that's going to loosen it. Uh, you know, the Heimlich <laughs> would be a little bit better. But it's it's that energy. Of like choking on something. Like pounding on your chest. Like aggressively trying to clear something. Like this huge blockage. This person is done. Because there's nothing sweeter than you, Libra. Look, this person has been thinking about it. They've got red eyes. <laughs> yeah, they are tired. They've been watching you at night. Look, look, this person has been completely drained. They're not even the same color they used to be. Pale. This person is sick and tired of the shit. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. They're tired of struggling. <laughs> They're tired of this new communication that they're in with you, Libra. Look, this person <laughs> was facing judgment. Look, they were humbled. This person was literally brought down to their knees. No! Yeah. 
Yeah, this person has learned from their mistakes and they're finally letting go. <laughs> <laughs> look, flip, look, oh my gosh. This bitch, this dude, I just have to say it <laughs> like it is. Necessarily like to use that word either, but I will sparingly win and where it is called for. And this bitch, this dude, this dumbass has got their panties in a fucking bunch. Look at that, look at that. So angry. Naked, exposed, left out in the cold. Doesn't SpongeBob look like he's outside of a structure, outside of a building? This person has been cut off from the foundation of structure that they built with this Sagittarius, this Virgo. This person who was <clears throat> and still wants to be connected to you, Libra. Pennies in a bunch. This person has been left out in the cold. <laughs> No peeking through the window now. I mean, the shutters have been closed. I mean, God dang, like no communication. Uh, also, this Sagittarius, this Virgo, keeps text messages. <laughs> they deleted all the text messages. They're all gone. They deleted them all. So naked, so exposed, don't know what to do. A pot to piss in. A pentacle to hold. <laughs> they were left nothing. Stark naked. Vulnerable out on the streets. I don't see any garbage bags. God dang. <laughs> Someone got kicked out naked. Well, that's just not nice to the neighborhood. Anywho. <laughs> oh, Libra. You and your ancestors just been holding in some some goodness, some good shit. I don't know what's so funny. <laughs> but I feel like Libras, you're yucking it up wherever you are, wherever ye be. Know that I'm laughing with you. Comment down below. I want to know what you're laughing at. But it seems like you and your team are celebrating something. You're celebrating something in silence. It's just you and your team. Look at your cheeks. Look at your team's cheeks. Patrick. <laughs> oh, you're holding in that peace, Libra. You're not going to let it go. Hell no, I won't go. Hell no, I won't go. You won't come out of this circle. This cycle of peace. And look, your ancestors are so happy. They're grinning from cheek to cheek. They're so excited for you, Libra. They're like, yes. Yes. Libra's in a good cycle now. Celebrating. <laughs> Libra, it's almost so hard for you to keep all this good energy in. You've been keeping it to yourself. You've been stingy. Some of y'all been celibate. <laughs> I'll leave that right there. Anywho, I'm keeping all the good juices, all the good essence, all the good energies to yourself. Protective, not defensive. I like it, Libra. Look at, look at how free you are. <laughs> Sardines and pork and beans. Libra, <laughs> did you step in the building? Are you in the building, Libra? I think so, because he's walking into Preppy Patty Shack. You're in the building, Libra. There's no doubt about it. You are in the building. Someone here had broccoli today. Hmm. Someone's taking a pole dancing class, and it's very liberating for you to know that you have that type of strength, that upper body strength. Well, go ahead, girl. May you learn a new move.
Oh, how to come down from the ceiling with no hands, how to slide down to the floor with no hands. Yeah, that's a lot of leg power. Hmm. Someone here is going on a cruise. Mm, someone's become a couch potato now. This Capricorn energy. So yeah, so this person may not have a job. This Capricorn energy doesn't have to be their partner. So they're sitting at home. They're dull. They're lax. They're in lack. Lackadaisical. No gumption, no juice, no energy, no power, no motivation. So for them sucking this person dry, this Virgo, this Sagittarius, well now they've been sucked dry. Now they get to have a seat and not a royal one at that. You see what they're sitting on, yes? A whole lifesaver. A life-saving device. This is what this person is in need of. A life-saving device. And you see them holding the remote. They've lost all control. Not even looking at the TV. This person is on dope. <laughs> okay. So this person could be doing drugs now. Because they've lost the connection. This connection they may have had with your Sagittarius or this Virgo for a long time. I see a conch shell in the background. Seashells could be significant. So yeah, this person is moving in slow motion. They feel stuck now. <laughs> so this person doesn't know what's coming next. This Sagittarius, this Virgo energy doesn't know what's coming next. But what they do know is they're getting the hell out of Dodge away from this Capricorn energy. Again, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Libra, you still just doing you. Holding on to this goodness. Planning and working with your ancestors who are so happy for you that you have chosen this new higher cycle, that you have chosen to trust in yourself, your mission, your passions, your desires, to trust in your journey, to trust in the guidance, the assistance that you have been given. Your ancestors, your spirit team are so happy that you're listening, Libra. You're their baby. <laughs> Look, I just noticed it looks like they're sitting in high chairs. Libra, your, your ancestors, your, your team, they're going to put you on, they're going to hold you up, they're going to put it down. For you, Libra, I'm telling you, they are so excited. And I'm smiling just like Patrick is right now. I don't know if you can hear the smile in my voice, but Libra, your team is happy for you. Someone could have had a Kit Kat bar recently. Chocolate lovers. Yeah, look, this person is having to utilize new strength. They're trying to see things in a better way. They're trying to be more optimistic. Now, they don't know what lies ahead, especially wherein you are concerned. But again, what this person does know is they're getting out of Dodge. They're leaving this connection with this manipulator, this controller, this abuser, spiritually abusive by utilizing spell work to control this person. Well, there's all kinds of abuse. And unfortunately, this Sagittarius, this Virgo has suffered many levels, many forms of abuse from this contortionist, <laughs> this shapeshifter, a <laughs> skinwalker. So this person is not even led by themselves. This person is led by, <laughs> we'll just say a different spirit. And again, <laughs> this person connected to you, Libra, has said, no, no. <laughs> I see you for who you are. I, you see, they've got the light out. They see this person for who they are now. 
because they've not only been watching you to ascertain information, higher knowledge, wisdom, but this person also looked within and found the light within them own selves. Again, they scattered away. <laughs> they dismissed and dispersed the smoke in the mirrors with this <laughs> twisted sister. <laughs> it's what I just heard. Hmm. Let's see what's going on in the brain waves. You hear this? <laughs> this person can't let this person go. And the person connected to you doesn't want to let you go. So someone's having repetitive thoughts confirmation. Thank you, angels. So this Capricorn, I feel, was having repetitive thoughts about this breakup with this Virgo, this Sagittarius energy. What's going on in the thought waves, angels? What's going on in the mental? Keep exercising. And again, there's a lot of work going on here. I have a tiger pull by the end of this reading. Three more, please, angels. Let's get these out. Look at this. Twenty ankle touches already. <laughs> oh well, someone feels like they got fucked in the ass. Royally, <laughs> someone is not royal. Seriously, was with the cards on the floor, and these two came out. So. It says, when you put on a seaweed mustache and instantly feel like a man. <laughs> so as you notice, this masculine energy here does not have a mustache. So this person is putting on new airs. This person may have grown facial hair. This is a masculine. And when you last saw this person, they may have been clean shaven. This person may be a bit of a mountain man. <laughs> or brawny. Someone here uses brawny paper towels. Seaweed is very durable. It's long lasting. It's very strong. <laughs> it's very dangerous as well. You get pulled into some seaweed out there in the ocean. <laughs> uh, it could pull you under. So this person has been pulled into their emotions. And now they're having to put on their game face. They're having to tap into this Leo energy because they were not strong in the past where it came to deal with this Capricorn energy, this contortion, this, this manipulator. This master magician. I just heard that's how they want to be perceived as a master magician. This person uses low level magic. This person's magic works on people of a lower vibration, higher vibrating individuals. This, this person would not be able to affect 
And one way this Capricorn energy gets people to lower their inhibitions in order to aid in the spell work is they have sex with them. Or they kind of sort of threaten them with the offer of sex. So it's kind of like, you know, holding the bait out. <laughs> you might get some, if you act right, and you know. Okay. It says, when you get offered a job as a sign holder. <laughs> So this person, this Virgo, this Sagittarius, they, again, were shown the signs, again, because it was something that you said, Libra, something that came up that was brought back to this person's attention. And this person went investigating upon what you may have said to them in the past. This could have been even something you said in the present because this person is watching you. But something triggered them. You opened this person up. And now this person is exposing the truth. They're exposing their own truths within their own life. Again, this person has seen the light and they were offered the opportunity. I feel by spirit. To change their ways, to change their life again because this person has been humbled through this experience. They've been put through the meat grinder. Someone here may work in a butcher shop. It says when your face freezes while you're making your funny face. <laughs> this person's face is frozen in disgust. Um, what's the old saying? They tell you, uh, what is it? Don't squint or something like that because your face might stay like that. Or if you roll your eyes, your eyes might stay like that. I can't remember the idiom quite correctly, but it's something to that effect. This person's face is stuck. <laughs> Resting bitch face. So, oh, goodness. Someone may have resting bitch face. Whether this is a dude or a female, a chick. Hmm. Hmm, I just heard basic, so someone's real basic. It says when you get caught kissing your pillow <laughs> at Makeout Reef. <laughs> so Weaver, what did I say about you being celibate? You've been keeping it to yourself. You've just been sitting on it. You sir, you ma'am, you lady, you man. Hi, bye, try, bye. Still talking to you. You've just been carrying on, sipping your tea, your coffee, your water. Whatever it is you like to sip on right now, Libra. Whatever quenches your thirst, whatever wets your whistle, that's what you're sipping on. You know what you're sipping on the most of? Peace! <laughs> Someone here drinks peace tea. Libra, you've been kissing your own pillow. You've been sleeping by yourself. You've been getting your peace because you've not been dealing with any drama. You've cut that shit right on out of your life. Again, you've been serving up karma to people even if you didn't know you were pouring a cup for them. You're just over here just minding your business, doing you. And it looks good on you, Libra. Some people like people in uniforms. Hmm. So yeah, you don't know it, baby. <laughs> this person wants to call you baby. So bad, they want you to be their baby, Libra. And you don't know it. It says when your hillbilly plankton cousins show up uninvited. <laughs> So I feel like <laughs> your ancestors, your spirit team has shown up for you in unexpected ways, Libra. And it's almost as if they're coaxing you not to be so defensive, to just be in your peace, relax, calm down, baby. You got this, we got this, we got you. <laughs> they're showing me uh the Clampets and uh, the Hatfields. 
And so it's like a war. It's a war going on, a war about you, a war that you're involved in, Libra, that you don't necessarily know anything about. But there's a battle, and you're involved, even though you're not fighting, because you're in your peace. It says, when you take your Krabby Patty on a date and end up growing old together. God dang, Libra, look at this. You hear this? This person? <laughs> now, she just said, I know you're coming back to me. This is this Capricorn. They feel like this Sagittarius, this Virgo is going to come back to them. Look how tightly they're holding on. My God. Lady, sir, sir, ma'am, because you're losing your grip, you're choking the shit out of somebody spiritually, metaphysically. You should loosen those hands. Oh, the look of consternation in this person's face, this resting bitch face, is <laughs> gonna be stuck for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, they thought that they were going to grow old with this person. When you take your crabby patty, look at this. Could you focus? Thank you. They took a crabby patty. Someone's name could be Patty, Patricia, Kathy. So they went on some dates with this person. They got involved in this connection with this person. And this Capricorn energy thought that they were going to grow old together. But this Capricorn energy, whoever this person is, is a Krabby Patty. Who wants to be with a Karen for the rest of their lives? Nobody. Said nobody ever. And so now this person is stuck, sitting on the couch, couch surfing. <laughs> the TV may be on. <laughs> They're not watching it. Because they're on dope. What kind of dope? <laughs> Whatever this person's drug of choice is. Mm, if someone takes Xanax. Mm, they're showing me footballs. So this one, person takes the Xanax, the footballs, the little brown pills. Because this person is cutting themselves, cutting themselves off from physical reality. Because the reality that they're now facing, because the Sagittarius, this Virgo, has walked away from them, they finally cut the cords like they cut all of them. <laughs> this person no longer wants to reside in this physical reality, so they're utilizing drugs, dope. Take your pick as a form of escapism. This person wants to call out for help, but it's like they're so drugged up. They're so just under the influence of the, like they don't even want to do any more spell work. And they, because they need a life-saving device. They need some help. It says, when you fail, you're boating. Oh, there was three cards here. Look at that. We had one hiding. Yeah, real fiery. <laughs> this tower moment. Some shit got shaken up. Boy, the fire almost burnt everything down. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. Yeah, this person is letting it burn. Now I hear Usher, let it burn. That's Usher twice. It says, when you fail your boating exam because you ran over the narrator of the show. <laughs> So this person, <laughs> this Capricorn, they had to get off the ship. They had to jump ship. They had to get off this, this train wreck of a course. They were heading down this path, this connection that they chose to involve themselves in with this Capricorn energy. This karmic energy. This person had to get out of the water. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a public swimming pool when you were little. Do you remember adult swim? All the kids had to get out the pool because the adults would get like 15, 20, 30 minutes in the pool with no kids in the pool. 
This person <laughs> called Adult Swim someone may watch Adult Swim. <laughs> this person had to get out of swimming in waters with childish energies. So they left. They ran over the narrator. This person wanted to control the narrative. They are a controlling, manipulative abuser. And they just keep saying, wait, wait, wait. Now, they really don't want to hang on to this connection again because they know that this Sag, this Virgo, whoever this character is, wants to be with you. They're like, look, if you're going to have Libra in a picture, well, fuck it. I don't want to be with you. They say that on the surface. That's not what they mean on the inside. Again, this person is failing. They're falling. They have low self-esteem. They have a lack of motivation, a, a lack of gumption. Again, this person may be out of work, couch surfing. They don't need, they're so messed up. They're not even doing spell work anymore. It says, when you get a drop of paint on your boss's first dollar. <laughs> so this person is trying to paint themselves into a better financial picture. Because they feel like their money's been fucked up. Their money, I told you, has been fucked up being in this relationship with this Capricorn energy. They've been hemorrhaging money. So this Sagittarius, this Virgo energy may be an entrepreneur. They may be starting their own business. Again, this person is doing a lot of research, a lot of investigation, a lot of delving into self. So this person's self-esteem is actually on the rise. And it's because they finally shaken this Capricorn energy. It says, when the mermaid man and barnacle boy let you house sit for them while they're on vacation. So this person may have been living with this Capricorn energy. Now they're ready to take this vacation. They're ready to get away from them. But this is like a vacation for life. Like they're vacating and never coming back. They're vacating the scene. So vacancy. So yeah. They vacated the scene. They may have put this person outside. They put them in a five of pentacles energy. Hmm. Let's get a few more cards and we'll close this out. Lakers, thank you so much for your time, your energy, your watch. Know that I value you and I appreciate each and every single one of you, whether you are Libra or not. Again, please do like, share, and subscribe. Give your girl a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. It helps other Libras, such as yourselves, get to see these messages. Get some closing energies. Now look at this. <laughs> wow, almost right across, huh? Look at that. Well, it was meant to be. We have Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy here <laughs> with this Sagittarius. Yeah. It says frozen. I told you this person was frozen. It says, hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Because this person has not been having sex with this Capricorn. They may have a family together. They may have children together. But this person has definitely frozen this person. They may have been together since 2014. Hmm. So this Capricorn played with this Sag, this Virgo's heart. And this person had to put on some mountain man energy. So even if this is a feminine, she had to switch into some masculine energy. <clears throat> to call upon deep storages and spaces of strength in order to get out of this situation. One was escaping for their life and one is escaping from their life. It says, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. <laughs> so this person is turned into a whole spiritual gangster, Libra. 
So we have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Water Energy here with this drama. So this person is, and we have good fellas. So this person is becoming a good fella. This masculine, this feminine, they're becoming a good fella. They're becoming a spiritual gangster. They're listening to their intuition. If you listen to the song that was at the intro, it said that they were looking for a girl. Could be man of discernment. Hello, gentlemen. I feel you here. It says, I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Listen, this <laughs> Capricorn energy was a whole shapeshifter. I told you. This cloak and dagger energy and look what's on top of this Capricorn energy. Earth energy here with this green, this comedy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Tropic Thunder. Whoa, listen, I told you. <laughs> the Sagittarius was escaping the storm. Thunder, clouds, storms. They said no. The fuck out of here with your Tropic Thunder. Yeah, they told this person, you've got to go. you got to take that stormy ass, fiery ass shit somewhere else. I'm not hanging on to this. And it's almost comedy that this person thought that they were going to be able to hold up this facade of <laughs> being disguised, of cloaking themselves. It says, it sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays from office space. <laughs> because you've been doing your work in where? In your own space. 999. Some of you could be seeing 999. Mm -mm. You hear this? <laughs> Last time you hit me, that text got deleted. You you see? I told you this person has deleted all the text messages. There's no more text messages. They used to hold text messages in their phone, I guess, for receipts. But this person has deleted all the text messages. They are leaving. They've already left. So Libra, I feel like you don't get a case of the Mondays. Your every day is a great day. Some people are like, oh, God dang, it's Monday. I got to go back to work. I got to do this. But I feel like you don't have a case of the Mondays. It's this energy that's wanting to come towards you, whether this is the Sagittarius, this Virgo, whatever person this is, Libra. <laughs> They have had a case of the Mondays, Libra. Meanwhile, meanwhile, there we go back to the meanwhile because the story continues. Because Libra, you just keep moving. You just keep moving on. You don't stop, can't stop, won't stop. That's your energy. Nine, nine, nine. Never mind. <laughs> not giving your number out. You're not giving your wand out. You're not giving your cookies out. It's a no can do. You <laughs> and your team just sitting on some goodness on what you're planning. Uh, which you're working forward towards. It says, with all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour from Apollo 13. Yeah, you're taking off, Libra. You're in the building. You're receiving your just reward, your due respect. It's coming, Libra. It is here because you're in the building. Libra is in the building. Bam. There you are, sir, ma'am, lady, man. How about try? Still talking to you. You hear this? You do better by yourself. So again, yeah, this may be somebody from your past. You may have trust issues, Libra, but again, you're working on you. <laughs> you're working on your path, your plan, your passions, your desires, your intended journey. And now this person, this person, <laughs> someone's last name could be Pearson. This person is working on becoming a spiritual gangster like you. They're looking to utilize the swords in the same way that you do, Libra. They're like, God dang, someone's got a butterfly knife. I like the way you whip it, Libra. 
The flick of your wrist, the way you whip those swords, the way you chop shit down. Chop wood, Libra. This person is ready to kung fu this whole connection <clears throat> to the past. They're ready to kick it back. They're ready to leave this person in the fire that they set for them. It says if you wear a dress and have a kick, <laughs> wait, if you wear a dress and have an animal sidekick, you're a princess. So this person thought that they were going to be a whole prince, a whole princess, a whole king, a whole queen by treating the person that they were with like a beast, like an animal, like a dog. We have Moana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this person used to moan. They used to <laughs> moan and groan, this person. Yeah, they... <laughs> So again, this Capricorn energy utilized sex to ensnare people. And I just heard both sexes. Well, okay then. There's that. So this person thought by dressing up, by looking pretty, by looking the part, by utilizing sex as a weapon... By pretending to be someone who they are not. That they were going to become this queen, this king. That they were going to be treated as such. When really this person was just treating this Virgo, this Sagittarius, like a dog. It says, have you checked the children from when a stranger calls, Libra? <laughs> Someone wants to play with you, Libra. Someone's tired of this shit show. They're tired of this horror flick that they've involved themselves in. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Fire and desire is what this person has for you, Libra. They see the light. They've gone to find their own light. Now they've got the light. And they see even more light in you. And they just want to match your light with their light. So this person is going to be calling you, Libra. This person could have been born in 1979. Libra, you could be born in 1979. This person is being very optimistic about walking away from this person and now coming forward towards you. They're also hoping that you will give them a thumbs up, that you will give them the seal of approval because this person has been... Through the gamut, they've been through the rough and the muck. And this person knows it's going to be some work. It may even be an uphill battle. Barn Hill could be significant. I don't know why that's coming up. Believer, someone's on their way. Because just fucking is immature. And this person is no longer interested in just fucking. No, this person wants to make love. Like they really want to make love. And they want to make love to you. So that's where I will be this message. Continue to use your own intuition and discernment, Libra. <laughs> just like this person knows that you are. To make the very best decisions for your highest good. I know that you will. If you would like to request your own personal reading to dive more deeply into your own situation, you may scroll down in the description box below where you will find that information. If you would like to contribute monetarily to the growth and the expansion of this channel, you may do so through Cash App, Dollar Sign, Girl King, the number three, the number six tarot, also listed down below as well as any other pertinent information including the decks used and the titles to the intro songs so Libras, thank you i love you <laughs> i love the smirk on your face Libra. <laughs> keep smirking keep yucking it up you're sitting on a lot Libra, and a lot is coming to you be happy, be healthy, be well. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at your girl.